Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make an acrylic posterior biplane. Here's a model I made some, I've been some wires on. This is just for the video. This isn't a real case. And one of the things I used to do is put a wax border on, and that's just a sheet of base plate wax. You can use utility wax or whatever. It's pretty simple to do. And I just wax it here and then I put a little wax here. And that creates a shelf where I can pour the acrylic on the posterior and it doesn't run over and get into the buckle area. And, and that works pretty well. Uh, the acrylic still will run out here on this shelf though and you have to either you know tamp that back with a spatula or something or cut it off. Uh, I'm going to show you in just a second something that will work even better than that. So if I use the acrylic and just go over here and build this up, you'll see, and I'm sure many of you have already done this. Just a little salt and pepper. I'm going to use pink just so you can see it better. Uh, like I said, this is not a real case. So this works pretty well. You can salt and pepper the posterior bike plane right along with the rest of the appliance. Now this model, I, since this is just for demonstration purposes, I haven't uh, put separator on it. It's it may bubble. We'll see. Doesn't matter, but you can see what I'm doing, okay? And I'm sure you've done that before. But when you get done, you can, you know, you can scrape that back, and that works pretty well. But it takes a little bit bit of time, not a whole lot of time, but it takes a little bit of time to put that wax on. Now here's what I'm going to show you in this video. I, you notice I've got a glove on this hand. This is a, you can use a latex. This is a vinyl glove. I don't have any latex gloves around here. I seem to get them caught in the hand piece. <laughs> it gets dangerous. So vinyl doesn't do that. So I just do that. Use vinyl gloves. So anyway, look how I'm going to just put my hand right here. I'm going to use this as a dam. Now this will do two things. It'll, it'll, it'll be something to pour the acrylic up against. And it creates like a barrier so that it doesn't run out into the buckle area. Now I'll do one side and then I'll do the other when I'm actually doing this. But I've got the wax over on the other side so I can't do both sides on this one pouring. But see, you can just do this at the same time you're pouring the rest of the appliance. Now here's something. I'll stop right there. Here's something. I always leave a little, uh, little powder on before I take my finger away. Okay, now if I just pull my finger away, it'll probably just pull... Well, I didn't do it that time but sometimes it'll pull the acrylic away from uh, from the model it'll it'll make it kind of kind of pull away but if I let me do it again here usually what I'll do is I will when I put the last powder on there instead of pulling it away I'll just kind of slide my finger like that and that just kind of breaks the seal then I'll pull it away and it makes a nice little look at that I mean, it's perfect. It's not up over the buckle. Now, if I wanted to get over here, you know, I could add a little more right there. But if I liked it just the way it was, there you go. Okay, now, when I do spring aligners uh, to pour the labial, the labial bow, the, the acrylic on the labial, uh, I'll also do that too. I'll put it up here. And at that point, I'll usually have acrylic on the lingual. And at that point, sliding it before I pull it out is almost crucial. All right, that's a very easy way to make a posterior bike plane. That's it for this week. I'll see you next week.